Thanks for checking out my video. If you want to learn more from me, I have a lot of classes on Udemy. You can find the links to a lot of those in the description. Hey guys, so you are probably not going to be seeing this until like sometime in December, if not January. Um, so like a couple of videos that went up, I think two of them had some audio mess ups because um, unfortunately this program that I'm using right now, which is on a Windows machine, is not exactly like the iMovie that I used to make my videos on and it can be kind of confusing sometimes where it doesn't show separate audio tracks in the same way that iMovie does where the it catches layering where it's much easier to see this is a little bit different it's actually like an like a Windows HD Movie Maker, so I'm still trying to get used to it, and I guess it kind of flubbed those things. I wish I had the original like files, so I could just re-upload those videos, but I don't, because sometimes I don't save copies because I don't have the hard drive space. So my apologies for those little screw-ups. If I can figure out what those topics were and whatnot, maybe I'd find the inspiration to re-ramble and remake those. But you know, so I'm just kind of chilling. It's actually Thanksgiving today for me, but not for you guys when you're watching this. And, you know, I'm, didn't, I've been doing a little bit of rearranging stuff around here. I got my meditation altar thing kind of next to the TV now, or a little bit of it. I actually changed a couple of things around. I used to, I used to have a meditation thing over here, but then I moved it over there. And I'm still wondering what I'm going to do with this table over here, but you know, so I've been trying to get back into meditation lately, so I've been rereading a lot of, like, my Tibetan Buddhist stuff. And, you know, I'm always relating things from one thing to the other, and I thought of, you know, the idea of samsara, the idea of suffering, that we're always stuck in this realm of grasping, of needing, of suffering, because we don't have what we need and we're not content, and so we're looking for food or, you know carnal desires, or we want that newest thing, or we want that new job, and we want that money and stuff, and we're suffering because we don't have it, and therefore you can't reach enlightenment, and blah, 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 right? So how do I reconcile this whole thing of, you know, the fact that I want new stuff is putting me in suffering, where then you have magic where the goal is to improve, to get better, to get the things you want, to get the things you need, and blah, 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 blah. So moral of the story is, if I'm going to continue to grow with stuff, and I'm con going to continue to want to up-level, whether it's like monetarily, or maybe there's some new ritual things that I want, or I want to improve a situation in my life, whether it's work, or a relationship, or a friendship, or a family thing, what have you. If I'm constantly going for new things, doesn't that leave me in samsara, where I'm suffering because I don't have it right now, but when I get it, I'm going to be happy, but then I'm going to want to keep climbing that ladder, to keep getting more and more, to keep getting better, better, better. So how do I reconcile those two things? Well, the key is samsara with suffering. So am I suffering because I don't have that particular ritual item that I want? Not necessarily. Am I suffering because I don't have the, you know the right job, or the situation with my family members sucks, or what have you with any situation. Not really. You, It's your mindset. Are you suffering because you don't have that thing? Or are you in a state of excitement and a state of growth and a state of happiness with yourself? Because you know, I might be here, but I'm going to get here. And just because I don't have it right now, I could sit here and whine and pout and blah, 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 that I don't have the the situation that I want. Or I can say, okay, I'm going to take action. So I'm comfortable with where I am right now, but I know I want it to be different. And I'm working towards that difference, and therefore, I'm not exactly suffering. I'm wondering if this is kind of making sense. Making sense in my head at like 4 o'clock in the morning, because here I am. I wake up, and I do things. So along with meditating and mulling things over, it's just been kind of an interesting thought experiment this, this morning to be like, okay, if I'm in this forever ending sea of suffering, then if I'm grasping at things, how does that take me out of the sea of suffering? Because, you know, you have people that are um, 
hardcore meditators and even people that follow Buddhists and Buddhist monks and da 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 that they're talking all the time about not grasping, about being in that pure state of mind, being in that state of just being and existing. And I like to pose the idea that, yes, you can have that pure state of mind of being able to observe everything and not being attached to different things. But that means that you are not, you don't have to be attached to the future. You can know where you want to go, but you're not attached to the present either. And the, it's not dragging you down. Okay, so let's like moralize this stuff. In your everyday life, don't get so bogged down in what you have and what you don't have. If you have a goal, go for it. Journal about it. Create some rituals around it. Execute that magic and do your follow through to get that new situation. If it doesn't work the first time, go back to the drawing board. If it doesn't work the second time, go back to the drawing board. You might have to work differently. You might have to work more diligently, but you don't have to sit in samsara with your suffering that you don't have that particular thing or situation or something's not fixed or what have you because you can use magic as your method of I want out of this situation and I want in to this one. And therefore, because you have a means of solving the problem, you don't have to sit there and pout and suffer with the problem. Yeah, there you go. So little um, magical meditational motivation. Let me know what you guys think about this. You can drop stuff in the comments. Let me know any kind of video topics that you want me to do more about. If you want me to explore meditation and Buddhism and whatnot and how it are, applies to or relates to magic some more, I think I might be doing that. But let me know what you guys think about this one. Give me some feedback. Why not? Good hunting. Thanks for watching my video. So if you want to check out my playlists, I have, among others, the Simon Necronomicon, the Tree of Life, General Magic, Tulpomancy, a playlist on my books, the Elements, Stones, the Theories that Govern Magic, and the Gods and Goddesses of Mesopotamia. If you want to check out my books on Amazon, I have Creating Consciousness, Magical Mechanics, Magical Theater, Handy Sigil Magic, Magical Movement, which is an update and expansion upon Handy Sigil Magic. Magical Mastery, which is a combination masterwork of Magical Theater and Magical Mechanics. And The Guide to the Spheres and Beyond. You can also find me on Facebook at MagicologyYT. You can email me at priestofthenecro at gmail.com. And you can even check out my Instagram, which is Magicology. And good hunting. You can also find me on Facebook at MagicologyYT. You can email me at priestofthenecro at gmail.com. And you can even check out my Instagram, which is Magicology. And good hunting.